Hey, sixth grade, you are doing lesson five, day two with me here in the video. So first off, make sure you have a calculator with you and make sure your book is on page 40. If you don't have those ready, pause the video and get them ready and then come back to us. But now, let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. Today, we are going to be talking about something called percent of a number. In other words, how do you find a percent of a number? Kind of makes sense, right? So what we're going to do is on page 40, we're going to go through together two possible models. One is a double bar model here, and the other is writing it as a multiplication problem. Now, once we do that, you're going to be working on some problems on the next page. But we're going to start here on page 40. So remember, as we're going through here, I'm going to give you some directions. I'll tell you to pause the video to work on some problems. Please follow those directions. Second, it is okay if you are not sure of an answer to a problem. Remember, give it your best shot. And when you watch the video, you go over and you learn from it. It is no big deal. Um, but you gotta pay attention and you gotta do your best. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna read the problem at the top of page 40. Follow along with me, and then we're gonna talk about ways to solve it. So here's what it says. At Madison Middle School, 60% of the 800 students participate in music. How many students participate in music? All right, so I'm gonna circle that percentage problem. 60% of the 800 students. Okay, now the first thing, the picture is we're gonna talk about our a bar model here. So how to find 60% of 800. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we know when we're talking about eight or of the percent, we're always going from zero to 100%. So in this one, what we've done is we split the percentages up on the bottom here into tens. So if you notice there, let me erase that. Um, we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. Now since we split the bar into tens, that's 10 groups, the other thing we do is we can split the 800 into 10 groups. So I want you to think 800 split or divided into 10 groups is 80. So what we're saying is each one of those 10 groups is 80. Okay? So, <clears throat> and if you were to add up all those 80s or do 80 times 10, you get 800, your 800 total. So you see how the bar works. Now, the bar model shows 800 students divided into 10 groups of 80. Each group of 80 represents 10%. So what we're saying here, and there's something I like to add to bar diagrams when we're talking about percents, is I like to add on top of the line. So 0% is 0 students, 10% is 80 students, 20% is 160, 30% is 240. I like to have those numbers on top because it makes solving problems easier, but you don't need, need to do that. Um, you can continue 40% or... Four groups of 80 is 320, all right? Now, down below, it says model it. You can write an expression to find the number of students. So follow along here. Remember, 60% of the 800 students take music. So 60% of 800 students take music. Now, we can switch that to a math problem. So 60% is the same as 60 out of 100. Of always means multiply, and it tells you that right here. And 800, well, that's 800. So you can change 60% of 800 to 60 out of 100, the fraction form, times 800. Okay, so the top part was using a bar model, and the bottom one is modeling it with a multiplication problem. Okay, you still with me? Let's go to the next page. So... On page 41 here, what we're going to do is we are going to work on the connected problems at the top here. So we'll start out, let's do just number two together, and then I'll have you work on three through six. All right, ready? Now, first I'm going to go back and get the bar model uh, and bring it to this page. Okay, so I have it there. I have my bar model right here, and... Uh, we'll work on two. So in two, it says, in the bar model, how many groups of 80 make up 60%, which is 
what is the total number of students in these groups? So let's go down and check this one out. So how many groups of 80 make up 60%? So here is 60%, I'm drawn with my purple line. And notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six groups of Eighty is the answer to the first part, but then it says what is the total number of students in these groups? Now remember, six groups of eighty of means multiply, right? So all you would have to do is six times eighty, and yeah, you could use a calculator, but six times eight is forty-eight, and just add that zero from the eighty, and you have four hundred eighty students. Okay. So, remember we did number two together. You could pause it if you need time to write that down. But now, here is the rest of your job. You are going to answer number three through six on your own. You're gonna be using the problem from the previous page, so um, keep that in mind. If you're not sure, you give it your best shot. Remember, no big deal. And when you're done with three through six, restart the video and we'll go over it, and that way you can learn from any mistakes you might have made. All right, pause it, do three through six now. Go. All right, so you should have three through six done. Let's start by going over number three. So three says, using your answer to number two, what is 60% of 80, 800 students? Well, we actually already figured that out, right? We did six times 80, and we got 480 students. So remember, if 600 students are in the school, 60% of them took music, 480 students took music. All right, next, let's go on to number four. So let me slide this one down here. So four says, the expression from the previous page is shown below. Fill in the blanks to show how to multiply. Now this one, I should have given you some warning. This one can be kind of tricky. Um, I wasn't sure what they were looking for here. But, so I will take lots of different answers here, but I'll kind of show you what they're looking for. So. Remember we said on the previous page, 60% of 800 students took music. And we wrote that as 6D out of 100 times 800. So that's this expression here. The only difference is they wrote 800 over 1. That's how you write 800 as a fraction. Um, so here's what they were looking for. They were saying, okay, to mul show how to multiply this, and you did this in fifth grade, you would do 60 times 800. And remember to do that, you do six times eight, which is 48. And you add those three zeros. So you get 48,000 over when 100 times one is 100. Now 48,000 over 100, you just do 48,000 divided by 100. Now if you remember from fifth grade, to divide a number by 100, you just, because see how 100 has two zeros? You just get rid of two of the zeros. So 48,000 divided by 100 is 480. Now, if you did something different for this, uh, that's fine. You could always pause it and erase it, but this is what they're looking for. They were just saying, how do you multiply that? You multiply the numerators, you multiply the denominators, and then you can simplify it. All right. So now, let's go down to number five. Number five says, explain how to find a percent of a number. All right, now you may have something different than here, but what I'm going to explain is kind of what we just did above. So I would say, um, to find percent of a number, you can multiply the fraction by the number. That's what we did right here. But you know what you could also do? You can also multiply the decimal times 100. So instead of doing 60 out of 100 as a fraction, I'll write that here, times 800, you could also write it as a decimal. And 60 out of 100 is 
point sixty times eight hundred, and you would get the same answer, which I think is kind of cool. All right, so let me go down. I'm going to say you can also multiply the decimal by the number. All right, so see how your answer, if your answer is similar in your own words, that's fine. If you think you said the wrong thing, then you do want to change it and make a correction. All right, last one of these you had to do is you had to do number six. So let's go down. Now number six says, Imagine that 55% of 800 students participate in music instead of 60%. How could you use the idea of halves with the bar model to find 55% of 800? All right, so I'm going to show you how you could use the idea of halves. Now remember, let me go up here. And we figured out, here was 60%, right? And we figured out that that was six groups, I'll number those, it was six groups of eight. There's one, two, three, six groups of 80, I'm sorry, four, five, six. And six times 80 was 480. So we figured out 60% was 480. Well, to figure out 50%, now I'll switch colors here to orange, 50% would be five groups of 80. And five times 80 is 400. So think about that. If 60% is 480 and 50% is 400, how would we find 55%? Now 55% is the halfway point between 50 and 60%, right? So what would the halfway point be between 400 and 480? Well, the halfway point would be 400 40. So that's how you can use the idea of halves with a bar model to answer that question. So I'm going to explain that in my own words. Let me erase this here and I'll move that 440 down a little lower. Okay, so I'm going to say, and if you came up with 440 as your answer, however you explained it, if you did a couple sentences is going to be fine. You don't have to change your answer. But if you had it wrong, then you might want to change your pause when I'm done and change your answer. But please make sure you're listening to what I'm saying here. So I'm going to say, if 60% of 800 is 480, and 50% of 800, oops, I won't write equal, is... 400, then 55% of 800 would be between 400 and 480. Be between 400 and 480. Sorry, I accidentally hit the home button and stopped the video. Okay, so 55% of 800 is 440. So, you understand what I wrote? I wrote 60% of 800, 50% of 800, so 55% of that would be halfway between those, which was 440. All right, so you can pause the video if you need to and make any corrections that you might need. All right, but now, here's what we're gonna do. Let me get this cleared up for a second. You are now going to work on number seven and number eight, but we're going to do them one at a time. So let's read it and we'll talk about some options. So it says, use what you've just learned about the percent of a number to solve these problems. Show your work on a separate sheet of paper. Okay. So it says, Charlie wants a new pair of shoes that cost $40. His mom pays 75% of the cost and Charlie pays 25% of the cost. How much do they each pay? So think about that. You have to figure out what 75% of $40 is and what 25% of $40 is. Now think of the double, uh, the bar diagram that we did and think of the multiplication problems with fractions that we did. 
and I want you to make sure you answer both questions. How much do they each pay? So only do number seven. Pause the video when you have both answers. Restart it. Go. Okay. So let's see how you did in number seven. Now I'm going to go over this in two different ways. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a bar diagram here. Now here's the one thing. Oop, that's kind of messy. I'm fixing that. Remember in the bar diagram on the previous page, we split it into tens because it was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This one, I'm not going to split it, or I will split into tens. No, I won't. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. Because notice the percentages are 75% and 25%. So if we imagine here, if this is 0% down on the bottom, and this is 100% here, I can split it into quarters, fourths. Because think of those numbers, 25%. If you count by 25, you'll have 25% here, you'll have 50% here, and you'll have 75% here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to take the $40 and split it into four sections. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. So each one of those sections is going to be $10. Okay, so the question says if his mom pays 75%. So I'm going to switch over to purple here. So here's 75%. How many groups of 10 is that? It's 1, 2, 3. And 3 groups of 10 is $30. So mom pays $30. Now the other thing is, this is Charlie pays 25%. So let me switch to orange here. So here's 25%, which is only one group of $10. Or ten, which is just $10. So Charlie pays $10. All right, so I do want to show you for this one, in case you didn't do a bar diagram, how you would have done it with a multiplication problem. Make sure you watch both ways here because it's going to help you with number eight. So remember, mom paid 75%. So mom paid 75% out of 100 times 40. And 40 is over 1, right? Charlie paid 25%. So it was 25 times 100, or 25 over 100 times 40 over 1. So the red problem, the dark red problem, will figure out mom's, and the orange problem will figure out Charlie's. So to solve this, I could do this. I would do 75 times 400, which is 300. Or I'm sorry, which is 3,000. And 100 times 1 is 100. Now to solve that, to do 3,000 divided by 100, you're really just getting rid of two of the zeros, and you get $30. So that's my answer right there. Now, let's do Charlie's. So in Charlie's, when I do 25 times 40, I get 1,000. And when I do 100 times 1, I get 100. Now to solve that problem, I do 1,000 divided by 100. And remember, to solve that, I just get rid of two of the zeros, which gives me $10. All right, so I still came up with the same answers for that one. All right, so now here's what you're going to do. If you got that one wrong, that's okay, because that's the first one you did on your own. But now we are going to read number eight. Let me get everything cleared here. And remember, you can re rewind the video back to rewatch number seven again if you're stuck with number eight. Eight. If you got number seven right all on your own, great. Keep doing that for number eight. So number eight says, a school will have a fall festival if at least 40% of the 500 students plan to attend. How many students must agree to attend in order for the school to have the festival? All right. 
So, you need to figure out how many students is 40% of the 500 students. All right, however you need to figure it out, go for it. Pause the video. When you're done, restart it. Go. All right, so let's go over number eight. Now, I'm going to go over it both ways with a bar diagram, and I'm going to go over it with um, a um, multiplication problem. So first off, let me draw my bar here. Now, remember, I'm starting, you always have 0% down here and you have 100% up here. Now, 40%, because it's a counting by 10 number, I can do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I can count by 10s. But it's also a counting by 20 number. So I can do this, I can say 20%. Oops, let me fix that, it's not a good spot. 40%, 60%. 80% and 100%. Now, if you counted by tens, that works too. It, do, it will not affect your answer. I'm just trying to show you something different. Now, also remember, it was of 500 students. Now, the way I did it, notice I split it into one, two, three, four, five pieces, right? So what I would have to do is split 500 into five pieces, and each one of my pieces is 100 students. So if I were solving this, uh, it says I have to figure out 40% of 500. Well, here's 40%. Notice that's two groups of 100, which is 200 students. So the question says how many students must agree to attend in order for the school to have the festival? The answer is 200 students. So if you did a bar diagram, might look something like that. Or maybe you have it split into 10%, which should be fine too. All right, but now let's say you don't like the bar diagram. And let's say you just want to do a multiplication problem. Remember, both are okay. So I'm just going to show you that way. All right, so if you know that 40% of 500 students is 40 out of 100 times 500 over 1. What we're going to do is we're going to solve it. So I start by multiplying 40 times 500. Remember, all I really have to do is the 4 times the 5, which is 20. But then I have to bring over these three zeros to get 20,000. Okay, and 100 times 1 is 100. Now to solve that, remember I'm doing 20,000 divided by 100. And the shortcut is, because 100 has two zeros, you just cut off two zeros and 20,000, which gives me 200. Holy smokes, it's the same answer I got when I did the bar diagram, 200 students. All right, so guess what? You're done with me, the video is over. If you had number eight right, give yourself a C, however you did it. If you had it wrong, make sure you pause the video and choose either the bar diagram or the multiplication problem. Uh, to solve it. And remember, you can go back and rewatch going over number eight or number seven as many times as you want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.